Today I'd like to talk to you guys about some practical ways to keep your narcissistic co-workers from playing the mind games that haunt you so greatly when you're at work every day. The games that never stop, that are spurred on by the master planners, and you're at your wit's end. Now let me give you some examples of what I mean by these types of things and behaviors. Where you'll have these rude co-workers, they're, they're nasty, they're overtly hostile, and because of their situation and because of how they feel about you, they, they may decide to not do their work task for the day. And they leave you holding the bag all the time, right? Sometimes you'll get off work late, right? Sometimes if you're, you call out, maybe you're not going to be covered, right? So there's a lot of ways that they can affect you on your job and make you look like you're not uh, doing your duties. So what are some of the most practical ways that you can deal with these narcissistic co-workers that you have you know besides ignoring them in the right situations you know maybe they may talk some shit sometimes and you can just ignore that but when it comes to the work task the duties that you're getting paid to do right you don't want to be holding that bag right so it's important to think about ways that you can effectively maneuver around the bullshit at work so in these situations, you know, you may have a job where, you know, you could work in food service or something and you may have that person who's going to leave you uh, stuck messing around with all of these things in the kitchen or something. Right. And, you know, and it's going to put you off and make you late or something and you're not going to be able to get to your next job or get to your daycare or something. And they purposely do that, but they're not going to have the narcissistic boss follow up and make sure that they did their job so they'll get to leave and check out every day and you'll get stuck holding that bag but if you leave that bag open your boss will charge you about not doing your job but this person seems to get away with it every day they'll make excuses for this person see that's how you know there's a game going on because the rules are the rules right but in these situations that person leaving you holding the bag because I've seen some things like this happen. You could be a wait staff or something. That person may have you bussing the tables that they don't want. It could be a lot of different things that this plays out. No matter what you're doing on your job because a job is a job. You could be shoveling shit and you'll have that person, right, leaving you with extra piles of shit, right, to shovel. So whatever way this breaks down, they're going to do these games. They're going to play these games and you're going to have to come up with the way to maneuver around that that bullshit you know and it's really not hard to do you just have to you know anticipate what they'll do because they're very predictable you know narcissistic people you know they they're crazy right so they will chase after something and the drive to to target a person is so great that they will ignore all of the small fine details about a situation you know, they're not thinking about that in that moment. So you'll get left holding that bag. But what you want to do is, you know, if you're if you're working somewhere where you have to stock or something, you want to make sure you stock up and, and do things proactively that are going to help you that's not going to leave you holding the bag or leave you stuck doing extra work. You want to document. When I say document, I'm talking about, you know, you don't have to write down everything, but you need to have a, 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 a nice jotted down um uh, listing of things that the person is not doing so when it comes to an evaluation or something you can literally just pull out that list and you can say well I had to do this I had to do that right because you you have to be prepared on two fronts you have to be prepared for the games played by your co-workers right the narcissist and this the, uh, the weasel faced dogs but you also have to deal with those bosses who are going to give empower these people you know and give them leverage and stuff to play games and then you'll you'll get blamed for what whatever isn't done. So, you know, and that's really frustrating, right? But dealing with these coworkers who are just nasty and the thing, the reasons why they do the things they do is simply because they're hurting. You know, in the case I was talking to a person, um, and that's why I brought up the food service thing. There was a person in food service that had something going on like this at their job, and they couldn't stand the coworker that they had because that person would always leave them. You know holding the bag and they would always have to you know explain something to the boss about why something wasn't done and they noticed the pattern because every time it would happen that person would duck on out 
and nothing would ever be said or mentioned about what that person's responsibility to the duties were. So this person did not know how to handle that. They knew clearly there was a game being played and they knew who was involved, but they didn't understand how to effectively go about positioning themselves in such a way that, you know, that they come out on top. And it's really just st thinking a step ahead of these people because they're really predictable. It's not really hard, folks. Stay a step ahead and, and you'll win, right? You know, if they say, I'll take care of something, then you go and you go back and you check on that, that whatever that task is and you make sure it's done. So when you go home for the day, there'll be nothing, there'll be no notes in your inbox or, or you know, you won't get a call in the office the next morning about something that you didn't do. You know, I have respect for any job that a person is willing to do for a paycheck. You know, um, someone has to do it, even the tough jobs. And so, you know, it's, it's troubling when you have to work a job that really stresses you out. It may be really strenuous and, and difficult in that regard. It may just be, uh, you know, it, it may be mind boggling. It may have a lot of, of, of extra things that you have to think about on this job. And you don't need petty bullshit getting in the way of your thinking processes while you're trying to get something done you're just there to work a job shouldn't have to be this difficult but it, you know sometimes it happens like that in most narcissistic environments you're going to have especially if you're a, a justice empath you're going to have these people who are going to target you they see your effulgent characteristics and they already want to pick you apart you know you're going to have a target on your back consistently. So you just need to always remember that. No one is your friend. Everyone has a dagger. They'll uh, recruit flying monkeys to help them participate in this bullshit that they're going to put you through. They'll all, you know, lie and cover for that person and say it was on you. So you'll have a lot of these things, you know. And it may be, it may just stem from behind, like in that situation. It just stemmed from, from them socializing with uh, outside of the group that the narcissists were in. So they were dealing with someone and the narcissist couldn't stand that person so they just picked at this person because they felt, well, maybe we can break this person down and have them ostracize this person along with us. But if you're strong and you know who your friends are and the people who support you at work, you're going to stick by those people. I cannot stand people who are duplicitous. And too many people in these environments come this way. There's already something wrong with them. And I'm tired of playing clinical, you know, psychiatrists to try to understand just to get a job done. People don't like that stuff. And that was one of the reasons why I had to get the fuck out of this environment and, and not be in it. Because I could not, I could not continue to, to manage my own thoughts, right? You know, you'll want to choke somebody out or something. But you, you have to just, just calm down, right? Be rational and just think a step ahead. You know, don't trust these people. Know that they're probably going to fuck up something, right? And it's probably going to come back to you. And so you just keep that in your mind and you always work in such a way that you come out on top. Right? And that's what you need to do in a nutshell. You know, you don't need to complicate your life. You don't need to join these circles, right? And try to feel like, you know, that, you know, get validation and stuff. You don't need any of this stuff. You're just there to work a job, get a paycheck and go home and make your day as easy as possible so that you can come back the next day and the next day and the next day until you get to that grand retirement age, right? And you make it to the finish line. That's all you want to do. That's all you should be concerned with. Playing games and all that stuff. That's for children. Now, we know most of these people are children, but, you know, you don't have to participate in this stuff. I love bad behavior, folks. But what I hate even more, what I really, what I really loathe are people who, do, who shirk their responsibilities at work for the purpose of playing a game. You get what I'm saying? And the narcissistic bosses who allow them to do these things, Right? And then bring it all down on you when that person is not doing their job. So do some things, folks, to be, you know, to protect yourselves at work. And be smart about it. I want you guys to uh, come on over to my website. It's www.thinkbehavior.info. Pick up my book on the website. It's a pretty good book. I love bad behavior. 
and um, you can donate as well at to the website. And um, thank you, folks. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for everything, your subscriptions and all of the things that, that come with this YouTube thing. I really enjoy it. Till we talk again, folks. It's all in the rain, I think. See ya.